Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Scott, and today we are painting General Grievous from Star Wars Legion. Now this is perhaps one of my top two favorite characters in Star Wars. It was a fun project to work on, so let's go ahead and dive into how I painted this model. Now before we can paint this model, we need to prime it. When I got a hold of this model, it was already primed with a white primer. If I had my choice, I would have primed it in Lead Belcher Spray Primer from Citadel. The first thing we're going to do in this project is we're going to base coat everything that's not an armor panel on this model using Lead Belcher. Now if you had primed the model using Lead Belcher Spray Primer, you would be able to skip this step. Once we have that lead belcher base color in place, we're going to take Null Noil and we're going to use this to do a heavy wash of all of the mechanical parts on the model. After that shade paint is dried, we're going to take Iron Breaker and we're going to layer this over the flat surfaces of all of the mechanical parts on the model. This will bring back the original shine that we had before we shaded down the model. And it's actually just a little bit brighter than the lead belcher we did before. Our next step is to take Beel Tan Green and we're going to do a light shade of this inside any areas that would contain life support systems or the organs of General Grievous. This includes the upper torso and the neck and throat area. After we've allowed that shade paint to dry, we're going to take Moot Green and we're going to paint this on this little knob that appears at the center of the chest plate on General Grievous. Our next step is to take Screamer Pink, and we're going to use this as the base color for any fleshy bits that are exposed on General Grievous, specifically around the eyes on the model. We're going to shade the fleshy bits on the model using Karaberg Crimson, and we don't need to go too heavy here as it will just darken down the pink color that we established in the previous step. Once that shade is dried, we're going to take Averlin Sunset and we're going to use this to very carefully paint the eyes of General Grievous. Our next step, we're going to very carefully take Abaddon Black and we're going to use this to put a little slit down the center of each eye on the model. At this point, we're ready to start working on the armor on this model. We're going to use Morgast Bone as the base color for this step. We're going to shade all of the armor using Seraphim Sepia. Once our shade is dried, we're going to take Ushabti Bone and we're going to use this to layer over all of the flat surfaces on the armor of this model. Now when we do this, we're making sure we don't paint this in any of the recesses or spots where the shade has pooled up. Now we're going to do an additional layer of highlighting, this time using Screaming Skull. And with this layer, we're not going to go quite all the way up to the edges of where we painted with the previous layer. This way we get a transition from the darker recesses up to the brightest surfaces on the model. Now we're ready to start working on the lightsabers, and I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what color was going to be appearing underneath the contrast paint and technical paint that we're going to use for the lightsabers. So I went ahead and base coated them using Corax White. We're going to do a little bit of highlighting on the lightsabers using Ceramite White, and we're just going to grab the center of the most visible edges of the lightsaber. So this way when we put the contrast paint on it, those areas will have a slightly brighter glow than the rest of the blade. Now it's time to actually paint the lightsabers, so we're going to take Tesseract Glow and we're going to do two of the lightsabers using this color. Now this is a technical paint, but it functions very similar to a contrast paint. Our final step in this project is to take Contrast Talazar Blue, we're going to water this down slightly and use this as the base color for the remaining two lightsabers.
And with that, we finished painting General Grievous. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, go ahead and like it and then subscribe to my channel so that you can see future videos I make. And then go down in the description of this video and I've left a link to my community discord where you can chat directly with me whenever you'd like. I'd like to also give a special shout out to my channel members that make videos like this possible. If you would like to become a channel member, hit the join button below this video. As always, have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next one.